B4, right where we have the yellow, interest sum function. So we want to figure out how many total items we have in stock. We start with equal, we type the word sum and parentheses, and now we want our range. You at home can probably click A15 right here and drag it all the way down. Um, I tried that earlier, it was interfacing with my video, so I'm going to type A15, and I'm going to hit colon, and I believe we're going all the way down to A42. So then I'm going to type A42, and close my parentheses, and I have an automatic sum of 200, 2,847. It wants us to apply the comma style with zero decimals. So we're going to click right here in our cell. We're going to come to the Home tab and flip on over to the Numbers panel. We're going to click Comma Style. You can um, use a comma here, or you can go into more number formats if you wish, and select Comma there. Um, I'm just going to choose my commas already right here up at the front. See, comma style formatting with a thousand separator. So for every three zero seven four eight comma should be come before the two thousand. And what else did it ask us to do? Zero decimal places. So right now we have two decimal places like money. We can come up here and we can delete two decimals right there at the number panel again. Um, in cell B5 to B8. Enter formulas to calculate average, median, lowest, and highest. So you already have it kind of identified here for you. So we're going to click here in B5. We're going to click equals. And then if you come up to auto sum, you can go on the home tab all, over, all the way over here to editing and click the auto sum and select average. And it wants the average... And so B5, B5, inner formulas to calculate average, median, lowest, and highest retail prices. Then apply the counting number format. So we want the average, hopefully we got that going here, of prices. So we're going to click on cell A, E15 all the way down to E42. And hopefully, yep, my formula is correct this time. It didn't interfere with my video making. And that's exactly how we count an average. We click enter, and the average price is $8.99. A median price, we do the same thing. We go equals. We come up here to our auto sum and pick median. But look at this. We only have a max and a min. So we're going to go to more functions. We could type the word MED for median. And go looking for it. And we locked up. Now it's giving us a median argument. It's saying, do you want B4 to be uh, to B5? But that's not right. We want um, E15. to E42, and we click OK, and our median price is $8.42. People very often get confused between average and median. Average is when you add them all up and divide by the number of items you have. Median is if you stretched all your numbers out in a row, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, what number is in the middle? For 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, it would be 3. Um, for our retail prices, it's $8.42. So now lowest price is min. So we type the equals. We come over here to auto sum. We go minimum. If you don't see that, you can go into more functions. And we want the minimum of E15 to E42. And we did not get our formula going there. Let's try that again. Okay, equals M-I-N. 
So that's a different way of getting to the minimum formula. And we print parentheses and we type E15 to E42 in parentheses and enter. And so the lowest price is $4.75. Looks like it's those split crown daffodils. And the highest price would be a max. So we're going to try just typing the formula out this time. Equals MAX, which is maximum. You can put, click your maximum function there if you want. And we're going to put a parentheses and go E15 to E42. And that's our range of data that we're looking for the maximum price. And the most expensive set of flowers is $16.58. I'm going to go ahead and save. And that's the end of step five. One of the things I missed, and I apologize, it says without grouping the sheets, make the following calculations. So if we wanted to group the sheets, we would click on the bulbs tab hold the shift key and click on the tree tab and that groups the sheet so what changes you made in bulb sheet would happen in tree sheet. We're going to hit escape because it asks us not to do that. So now we're going to go, I'm going to just grab the formula from total items in stock. I'm going to go control C and go to trees and go control V. And there are one or more circular references, so it didn't like that. So I'm just going to rewrite the formula then. I'm, I'm not sure what it's looking for, to be perfectly honest. A15 to A42. So equals some parentheses. A15 to A42. And so we do have a different amount in bulbs. We had 2,847. And we don't need that colored anymore. And then over here in trees, um, we'll pick a green so you know where we're looking right here. We have 3,503. So I'm just going to keep redoing the formulas. I'm not sure if that's what it was looking for. But of course, that'll work for us. The average of a E15 to E42. <laughs> we didn't get our average there. I'm going to come up here and type in the um, in the formula bar, and when I start to type after equals the word average, I get a selection of five different averages. Right now, I just want plain old average, not average ifs, or average A would be counting letters. Average. There you go. And we click at the end of the formula and hit enter, and it still doesn't like it. I wonder what I did wrong. E15. E15. Ah, oh, we're on D, aren't we? Ha, 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 ha. Okay, let's go back and get our formulas corrected. We are working with column D. And that will make our sum correct. And now we're going to make column D our average correct. You know, sometimes you just got to explore. See how... Excel does highlight the column we're working with for us. It highlights it in blue and it gives your cell references a blue highlight as well. And now we're going to go median price. I'm going to go equals and type that word medium in median, E-M-E-D-I-A-N. Click on that. I'm going to go ahead and put a parentheses and I'm going to click my E15 and D15 and I'm going to get my colon. Maybe that's why it didn't want it because it didn't exactly line up. Um, we were working with column E before instead of column D. Lowest price is equals min 
So we're going to click parentheses and D15 to D42. And oh, I made another typo. And in the highest price, we want maximum. So we're going to go equals max. And we'll go parentheses and click D15. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll down all the way to D22. <laughs> 42. <laughs> Just not having good luck today. And there's our maximum price of $65. Um, we're being asked in cell B5 to B8, so right here, to do a counting formula. So you want to come up here again to the Home tab, come over to Numbers, click on the pull-down menu, and go to Accounting. Accounting will give you a dollar symbol on the left, two decimals on the right, but with the decimals lined up, and your numbers rounded to cents, so tenths and hundreds place. That should be the finish before we were supposed to enter the sum function with comma style and get rid of those decimal places. Gonna save now and that's the end of step five.